Go. Um, I just wanted to do this quick review on this Aegis Max envelope style sleeping bag that I've seen kicking around. Uh, you can buy these on eBay and AliExpress, which is where we purchased this. Um, I was interested in this bag for my brother um, for a couple of reasons. It's a reported as an 800 fill down. Um, take that for what it's worth. It does seem to loft nicely. Um, but it also has, you can't quite see, but it has internal baffle construction. So between these seams, there's actually a baffle internally. It appears to be that two, two and a half inch baffle. So a baffled sleeping bag, 800 filled down, and it ran $111. Uh, a couple of features of this bag, it doesn't have a traditional tote box. It's, a, it's got the envelope style. So you zip the, the side together here. Just give you a couple of features here. So it zips. Side catching the zip the two together and to form the, to form the toe box you just cinch it together with this drawstring and that produces your toe box. This particular bag is their long version and we've confirmed the length. It's 77 inches tip to toe. Uh, when opened it's 63 inches across the wide so it'd be half of that for the, the width. And then the toe is 41 inches. So it fits my brother who's six feet tall just fine. If you're much over six foot or sorry six foot three you're much over six foot three, it might actually be a little too short for you. Now, we're going to get to the weight here in a second and the labeling. Okay, so just to go through a couple of the product labeling, this comes with it, this labeling here, and uh, most of it's in Chinese, can't quite read it, but uh, it has reported dimensions of 82 centimeters. Um, I believe that's the width there. 95% uh, I think is referring to the down content, so there might be 5% feathers. And it says 850 grams, or they, which I believe is the reported total weight of this sleeping bag. Now if you look on the other label over here, it has some information about the fabric. It says iFlex 6,500 uh, 15D, I believe that's a 15 denier. It's probably the outer fabric or the inner, I'm not sure which is the difference. And then the iFlex. 61,000 of 15 denier fabric as well. So it's a fairly lightweight fabric for the sleeping bag. It keeps the weight overall weight down. Uh, it also reports a, a weight measurement of 450 grams, which I believe would probably be the fill weight. So that in contrast to the 850 grams reported as the total weight. Uh, it has a temperature rating, a uh, comfortable temperature rating to two to three degrees Celsius. Yeah. So the, the, the bag ships with this stuff sack. And then it ships with this storage bag, which is nice to have. Um, to weigh the sleeping bag, just to confirm its weight, we will go ahead and, so I'm going to tear, zero the scale out, and weigh the stuff sack bag, just so you know how much that weighs. That's 42 grams. If you're going to go ultra, ultra light, you might want to consider another stuff bag. Um, and we'll stuff the bag in that and then weigh the sleeping bag. Do you want to put that on there and do a tear? Okay, so to get the bag's weight, uh, we're going to put this on the scale and then tear it. So we're tear it out to zero. Ooh. I shut it off. There we go. So shut it off to zero. I'll stuff it in and then weigh it. Okay, so the scale has now been teared with the bag. So the overall weight that's going to report is the actual weight of the sleeping bag. So the weight of the sleeping bag is 788 grams on this scale. Um, let me shift it around here. Yeah, 788 grams, which is actually uh, over 50 grams under the reported weight of 850 grams for the total sleeping bag. So that's a, kind of in conclusion here, that's a pretty killer sleeping bag. Uh, 800, 800 fill down, we believe the report, but it does loft nicely with internal baffle construction and a large option for somebody over, the, over six foot uh, three, up to six foot three. Um, one final thought is if you're at all uh, used to using a sewing machine, you can very easily take away material off the sides of a bag like this and convert it into a top quilt. And with the internal baffling, this would make a killer top quilt. So there it is. What was your price? The price, $111, uh, 788 grams is what we saw on this. Uh, temperature rating to around 2 to 3 degrees Celsius. Um, Which is about 35? 
What's that? It's about 35 Fahrenheit. Yep, 35 Fahrenheit. So put you a little, little, little over freezing, at least what they say comfortable. So there it is. It's a great bag for the price. And I, I would recommend it, and I have recommended it. That's why I ended up purchasing it as kind of an entry level bag for somebody looking to get into some old, more ultralight backpacking. And I think this certainly fits the bill. I wouldn't use the stuff sack coming in at 55 grams or 44 grams. I think that's what we measured that at. I'd probably pick something a little lighter, like a nice sill nylon stuff sack or even pay a little bit for a Cuban fiber stuff sack. But certainly the bag itself is, is, a, is a good bag to have. Uh, you have to use it with uh, something like a parka to give you insulation on your head if you want to extend its temperature range. But yeah, it's a nice little piece of gear. Perfect.